Hi, I'm Nadia Colburn, and I wanted to give you a little bit of information and a kind of tour to how Align Your Story actually works online. So I'm going to share my screen with you and show you what the site actually looks like. So here it is. Um, this is the welcome page, and it's all very simple to navigate. Here's the calendar. So each time I go through the course live, I go through module by module, and there's a live conference call, which is a kind of coaching session, time to ask questions and answers, and time to uh, practice together. So here's the calendar for when that's gonna be for the spring class, and then here's the logon information. You can come on either through your computer or through your phone over Zoom. It's very easy. Then here's a little introduction for how to use the course. And I want to show you that there are different ways that you can access the course material you get to choose. Um, they're all available for you, but it kind of guides you through the course, depending on your availability, your time availability, and your interests at this given moment. Then, because you have lifelong access to the course, you can go back and do another track or switch midstream if you want, but this just gives you some guidance. So if you don't have a lot of time, this walks you through how you can work with all the material that's here in a limited amount of time. If on the other hand, you do have a lot of time, this shows you how you can really make the most of the course, work on it several hours a day. Um, if you want to set up a daily practice through the course, this guides you to do that. There's the meditation and yoga track where you're really most interested in setting up the meditation and yoga practice as a daily practice. Um, there's guidance for how to do that, as well as a guidance for how to do the course without any yoga at all, or how to do the course if you're already involved in a book length writing project and you want to use the course to help you work on the project that's already in motion. So how you can use the prompts and the resources of this course for your particular project's needs. And I also help you navigate that in the coaching calls and in the private Facebook group. So now here's the meat of the course itself. So there, as you can see, there are eight modules. This is the first module, free writing. The next is deep listening, resistance, joy, childhood, alignment, revision, love, which is long-term, and then a bonus. Um, when I go through the course week by week with you, you'll have options to go on two sites, one site where all of the modules are there and one site where they'll be released module by module, week by week, so you're really guided through the process. So each course, uh, each module has a number of components. There's a lesson and you can click on the lesson and you can either listen to the audio of the lesson, which you can listen to here, or you can download and listen to it when you're out for a walk or when you're driving in your car. You can really incorporate the course into your everyday life. And then there's also text. And then you can also download that text. So the lesson really talks about the themes of that particular module. The close reading has the same format. You can listen. Here, this is in two, two sections because it's slightly longer. You can listen or you can read the text. And here, you can read it by unfolding here. You can also download it. And then when you come back to module one, and there are the writing exercises and writing prompts. Before we go there, I want to take you though to the yoga and the meditation. There's a video for each where I teach you how to do the practice for that week. It's always a short video. And then there's audio so that you can listen without needing to practice looking at a screen so that you can really tune into yourself more thoroughly and with more insight. So the yoga and the meditation are carefully selected to help you quiet the static in your mind and tune into the wisdom of your body and get that energy moving so that you can access a deeper creativity and insight, come into greater clarity. And what I recommend is that you do these practices before you write, and I guide you to do that. 
And of course you can choose to do that all the time or to do that sometimes or to choose the no yoga track if you prefer. You can even choose the no meditation track. But I invite you to practice and just see what it's like just once and just see what it's like. Um, and then there are the writing exercises that you can pair with these other um, practices. And there are lots of writing prompts that you can either, let's see, here they are. So there are lots of prompts and you can download them as well. And even if you don't do the yoga and the meditation and the writing at the same time, the idea of the course is that in your mind at least, you're connecting with the parts of yourself that have these more contemplative practices and these physical practices so that when you're writing, you're tapping into your whole embodied mindful self and coming out of that place of anxiety to write from a more grounded and wise and creative space. So, and then finally, there is suggested readings. This is usually for students who have more time or for students when they come back through the course again. And there's a lot of really great resources here. So whatever the theme of the week is, then there are poems, prose, essays on that topic. And you can re read really widely because good writing always comes from good reading. So I encourage you to get at the language and get the ideas into your ear as you're writing. And then we have a really lively conversation over on the Facebook group where I'm active and where you can ask questions and where people are sharing their work and getting feedback. But this is not a class where there are deadlines for you to hand in your work and then you get workshopped. Instead, it's a class where you're really given a lot of tools and resources to listen to yourself and to develop, to develop your own voice and your own trust in your own voice so that you can be your best first witness and reader. And then of course, you reach out and get support from other readers because we all need editors. But the creative process and the editing process are a little bit different. And I wanna really focus here on the creative process and um, on going deeper and on expanding your range of what you bring into your writing and how you align your life and your writing and so this course is really for writers and also non-writers, people who just want to come into greater alignment with themselves. So again, you can see all the material. There's a lot of it is housed online, but it doesn't need to be overwhelming because you have lifetime access. And there are these different ways to access the material. So now and come back for more later. And a lot of the material, because it's audio, you can practice with um, on your own time, even as you're doing other things. So I hope you enjoy. And thank you for, um, thank you for listening. And I'll hope to get a chance to work with you. Bye-bye.